and that's a titanium liter. Another liter material on our list is uh, titanium. Titanium is great, I like it. It doesn't have any kink. No matter how many fish you catch, it, it will always stay straight. But the only, only bad thing about it is the price. So when I'm fishing a titanium liter, I would not normally fish it with a jig because there is a, there is a high chance I will get snagged and snagging a titanium liter is costly. So I would I, I would mainly fish a titanium liter in an open open places where there's no snags and when I'm not fishing on the bottom. So let's say I'm fishing a, a spinner a spoon or um or perhaps a fly or something like that that's not going that's not going to the bottom and staying near the top or in the middle of the water so yeah the titanium is great i have cut a length of of titanium wire about 40 centimeters long i got the snap the swivel two crimps let me show you how to make one Oftentimes what people do, they'll take the crimp, slide it onto the wire, and then they'll they'll take their swivel and they put it and put it back into the crimp. Obviously the loop is gonna be smaller, this is just for a demonstration. And and then they would crimp the crimp the crimp with, with some pliers. But the problem with that is titanium is slippery. It will pull out easy. So I'll show you a better way of making the connection. What we're going to do is make a loop. And make it pretty tight. Like so. Grab it. About there. And then we're going to feed this end through the loop two more times. That's one. That is two. So for total three times, guys. And then what some people do, they get their braided line and they just wrap this tag end. They wrap it. So the loop won't become undone. There's a better way because of the pike bites, bites here. Even if you put varnish or glue on it, it will bite through. So then your loop can open. I think better ways to crimp it. And then we're going to get the crimp and slide it onto the leader material. Then we'll get the wire cutters and then we're going to snip pretty close. Okay, so there's a little tag end sticking out. We're going to take the crimp off. And now I know I have to I have to snip about two mil more. So now guys, when I put on the crimp, it will be pretty flush with the tag end. And now I'm going to get um, the tool to crimp it. And I'm going to do it in two places. Uh, and I'm not going to squeeze too hard because here in the loop we We've already got all the protection from from this loop opening as it's woven three times on itself. I just need the crimp 
to stop the tag end from going all over the place. So just a light squeeze. And this is one side done. Let's do the side with the, with the swivel. Let's slide the cream plant. Let's slide the swivel on. Make a loop. Put the tag end first through the through the eye of the swivel. And then and then we can make a the loop. Here we go. We will tighten it. Put it through the through the loop again. Here we go. I'll just use the pliers for grip. Here we go. Three times. Because we have slided our crimp before. It's on the leader. So now we just have to measure. We're going to slide it all the way to the loop. And then remove the crimp. I'll get my crimping tool. And then I will turn it around and then crimp again. And that's a titanium leader that is that that is going to handle many pike without breaking or without deforming.